a 60. Now a 60. <laughs> Once upon a time, I made a video called the worst console ever. And that was it. It was one video, but that's all it was. There can't be more than one worst console ever, right? But there is. Because the people that made the worst console ever decided to make a sequel to the worst console ever. I don't know why, the first one was bad enough. It, it was bad, no, nobody would want to willingly make another version of the console. But they did. <laughs> they did. <sighs> and they didn't tell me why. They didn't tell me why they didn't. You know, people out there told me that there was a sequel, but I didn't believe them because it didn't make any, any sense at all. You wouldn't make a sequel to that. That system, that wireless 60. But they did. They did make a sequel. The wireless Air 60. Now I know what you're thinking. How do you make a sequel to a wireless 60? Well, you know what you do? You take everything from that first system and get rid of it. The sequel has nothing from the original except for the name, it seems. But one thing they also took away was the controller. <laughs> you see, when they made the wireless 60, what they were doing was they were ripping off the Wii, you know, motion controls, right? Like that, you know, the way, oh, the stick, okay, well that, that. They took that and they took it away from there. What they ended up doing was they took the Kinect what Microsoft was making, and they copied that. Microsoft struggled with that system. They couldn't get it to work, and these guys copied that. So this is a knockoff of a system that didn't really work that well when it came out. That's what this is. It's the sequel to the Wireless 60. And this is it. So without further ado, <laughs> let's go to the footage of me playing the system. So what this console does is it actually doesn't register your body, it just registers the movement of pixels going on. And when you move something on the camera, the pixels shift, and that's how it knows things are happening. So to start off, you have the choice between going with two players or versus a computer. Let's just go with this. So the Wireless Air 60 is kind of just like the Wireless 60. It's got 60 games. Only this time, instead of being broken up into two categories, they're broken up into four. Skill, Sport, Arcade, and Action. So let's just get the worst ones out of the way first. If this wants to work. I don't think it wants to work. Tennis. This is the quintessential sports game that every single knockoff console tries to do, and they all freaking fail. To begin with, I don't even know why I'm this giant head at the end of the court, but we'll address that a bit later. For now, let's just look at the fact that this game just doesn't really respond properly. Now, while I am doing some choice cuts here where I actually do hit the ball, nine times out of 10, I didn't, because the hit detection on the ball is unbelievably bad. This is insane. There's no way for the system to know when I'm hitting the ball at a certain point to avoid the net, so it just kind of guesses and randomizes when the ball actually does hit the net, which makes this one of the most frustrating tennis games you will ever play. Boxing. Imagine we sports boxing without the controllers, and that's what you have here. A sloppy, unresponsive, very difficult to play game that for some reason at the very beginning forces you to kind of stay in this little red grid, and it sucks. There is no way to hit this guy. It just does not work, but he sure as hell beats the sloppy shit out of you whenever he gets a chance. What was really strange was at the end of this boxing match, it decided to take a picture of my failure when I lost. Once it takes a picture, the photo just deletes because there's no way for this system to actually save any images. What the f is the point? Ping pong. What would happen if you took all of the graphics from tennis and changed them a bit around to look like a completely different game? Only it's not a completely different game and it plays the exact same way as tennis. Then you'd get ping pong. Dear God, people, this is just the third title and they're already repeating games. Goalkeeper, some unseen players on the other side of the screen kicking balls at your face. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, and also, why am I behind the net? This doesn't make any sense. If you wanted to play this again, you have to go back to the main menu because the yes button is glitched. See? 
That's really weird. Beach volleyball. This is just tennis. I've already done tennis. I don't want to do tennis again with a beach ball. Why did anybody design these games? They, they changed the graphics, but everything's still the same. Oh God, why would anyone do this? It's so annoying. And the worst part about playing these games is that my wall is right here. This is a big space that I'm in and I can't play this game any farther back because there's simply no more room in my house. I think they need you to play this damn system in like a stadium or something. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get the accurate small personness of this. And this camera on here, this camera doesn't zoom out. So no matter what you do, you're screwed. You might as well just sit here, smacking your head around for a beach ball. I hate this thing. Golf. Oh, come on, no. I don't want to play golf. It can't work that well. I don't really understand this. Think I'm supposed to be like this? I didn't swing! Why am I going into the forest? No! I didn't swing! Stop making me swing! I'm convinced that you actually don't need to play this game. It just plays itself, I think. I don't want to play golf anymore, but I don't know how to stop. There's no pause menu. There's no option to stop things. And if I move my hip, I'm going to engage the swing. No, I swung again. Shit. You adjust the direction of your swing by shaking your hands up here. But you can't move anything down here or you engage the swing. So. Oh, come on. There, we. No, I didn't swing! I have to move so slowly. No, I didn't do it! Ah! I don't want to play golf anymore. <laughs> baseball. It's not really baseball. See, there's only one pitcher and one guy up to bat, and there's no one else on the field. What, what am I doing? Am I the catcher? I'm the pitcher. This game is incredibly boring, but it does switch up the role where you're not only the pitcher, but you're also the guy up to bat. So that happens, but the gameplay is nothing like you'd expect it. You kind of have to wave your hands in front of these circles at specific points, and it just doesn't feel like baseball. It's pretty, pretty bad. Skiing. Imagine the worst skiing game you've ever played and you wouldn't even be close to this one. Now you see those little left and right directional icons up on the screen there? Well see, what you have to do is kind of gently wave your hands in front of them as fast as you can so that the skier kind of propels himself forward. But that's not the worst part of the game. The worst part is you have to kind of lightly let off one or the other so that you can turn left or right. This is incredibly dumb. <laughs> but hold up, because this mechanic is gonna come back with a vengeance. Kung Fu. Don't you remember that game where you used to have like plates and weird shapes thrown at you and you used to beat them out of the air with your hands? Neither do I, because I'm pretty sure that's not what Kung Fu is. But regardless, that's what this game is trying to be. Convincing everyone in the world that it's an actual sport. And it's not. This game right here really, really sucks. Not because it has bad hit detection, because believe it or not, well, you kind of can't lose. As long as you keep your body kind of constantly moving, no matter what happens, all the shapes that are coming at you, you'll pretty much hit. This game's boring. Not because you can't hit things, but because you can't not hit things. Air hockey. Okay guys, look, this video game system has absolutely no way of tracking your hands. So why the hell did anyone think this was gonna work as a game? See, because it doesn't know where your hands are, you can literally just stay completely still and the puck will go right into the net. But if you really wanted to cheat, all you have to do is keep moving. See, if you move anything, your body, your hands, there is no way for this thing to define anything other than just movement on the screen. So if you just do this, well, you can't lose. This is dumb. Beach soccer. 
Okay guys, right off the top of the bat here, this game is not fun to play. See those dials and shit on the top and left? Yeah, that makes this game really not fun because the moment you use any kind of mechanics like these to play a motion game completely removes the reason why you'd even make a motion console to begin with. What a waste of time. Shot clock. I don't know why they didn't just call this game basketball, but I'll tell you this much, this sucks. It uses the exact same mechanics as the last game. And that makes this really, really bad. Because if the last game wasn't very good using these same mechanics, why would this game be any better? Dodgeball. <laughs> okay guys, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. At some point you saw a movie where kids in the US were playing dodgeball and you thought, wouldn't that be fun if they made a game about dodgeball? Well, it's not fun. Nobody likes playing dodgeball in f***ing gyms and real schools, so why would they want to come home and play this game in the comfort of their homes? Dear God, this is bad. I mean, look, it doesn't even really use any motion controls whatsoever. Those dials to the left and right and the little circle at the top, this makes this game basically a controller game only without the controller. This is terrible. I hate it. Penalty shots. Oh, not again. Just because you can change the graphics doesn't mean you've changed the game. This is the exact same game with a slight modification to the graphics. Look at it. This is just the basketball game again. This is just the game before that where you're kicking into a net. In fact, this is a net. This is hockey into a net. The, 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 the aesthetic has changed, but the game of doing this to the circles is still the same thing. Why would anyone make this? Why would they do this? Curling. Oh, everyone, look. It's the same f***ing game again. Woo! Driving range. I don't like golf. I don't like golf. Bowling, bowling, this is more, this is bowling. This has got to be the slowest, weirdest version of bowling I've ever played. So you wave your hand over the blinking ball here, then you have to select your aim to move a little bit, and then you can give your ball some spin, I guess. And then you have to use this to wave it so that your ball moves. I mean, who wants this? I don't understand this. The last bowling game on the wireless 60 was boring, but I guess it sort of worked, maybe. This one works less. If anything, all the sports games I've played so far are worse than the sports games on the worst console ever. Because this thing sucks that much. Now it's time for a very strange factoid about the Wireless Air 60. Okay, so everybody have a listen to this. Now this right here is the menu music to the Wireless Air 60, but in fact, it's actually... Oh, wait a second, I know the answer. It's Stranger in Moscow, isn't it? Michael Jackson. Wow, Leo, you just totally came up here and just totally stole my thunder for no reason. I know them. No one can say I don't know them. Leo. Because I know everything. Leo. Stranger in Moscow. Leo! Hey. What? In Moscow. Leo. The stranger. Leo. In Moscow. Leo! Okay, so now we're done the sports games. We're gonna try something different because I fear the arcade. So, let's try out skill. I guess. Horseshoes. Oh, not again. Why? Why do they keep doing this? And the computer player isn't even good. Drum master. For some reason, the options here don't really work that well, so you really gotta get in front of it to get it to activate. I don't like this at all. This is stupid. This is dumb, and it's confusing, and it's weird. It's Dance Dance Revolution, but there's no controls. The motion doesn't work for this stuff because it's not accurate, and if it's not accurate, you can't play properly, so the whole thing is just pointless. This is f Pointless! Why would anyone make this? Why would they continue to make this? 
What's the point? What's the point? Hey, kids. It's time to play number balls. So the point of this game is that you just pick a balloon. It tells you to find a number down here, and you do. I don't get it. Is this an educational game? Is it teaching kids how to read numbers? Wipe off. A game where you clean things, I guess. Uh, they put something on the screen and you wipe it away by moving your body? Ah, uh, this is just a terrible game. Good news is there's only three levels, but bad news is it doesn't really detect your body movements that well. I'm wiping, but it just won't clean, no matter what I do. Puzzle slider puzzle. Nuh-uh. Not in a million years will you catch me playing this. Guys, this is a puzzle game. You need to use controls for a puzzle game, not motion stuff like this. It just can't work. And look, there's a time limit. This selects, I guess, maybe? Nothing even seems to really work. Oh, who gives a fuck? Why would anyone make this? I spy. It's another puzzle game that utilizes these kind of controls. That doesn't work, and the time limit still doesn't help. Waiter, please. This is pretty much Diner Dash. You know, that online game that everybody doesn't play? Well, here you can play it poorly like this. You know why Diner Dash works? Maybe, because maybe you're using touch controls. Maybe you're using a controller. This doesn't work because motion controls were not made for Diner Dash! Rope Dancer. Once again, this can't work because it's not motion controls. There's buttons on the screen you have to hit. No, I don't want to play again. Birds. Making burgers. I don't even know why this one exists. All the problems from all the other games combined into one. You know what? You, 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 you want to ask me, does this game work, Shane? Does this game work? Of course it doesn't f***ing work. Ah, why would they do this? Slice and dice. It's a Fruit Ninja ripoff that doesn't work. Next. Chop Chef. You spend the whole time cutting cucumbers. I really don't know what the point of this game is. I don't even know how you lose. And Bride of Chucky over there is really freaking me out. What? I... I I, I don't know, I think it's a girl. I mean, possibly, does it even matter? I mean, look at it, I don't care. Keep the beat. The first thing you do is select a song. Sushi Ska. Return Pharaoh. Jump Groove. Electrica Rumba. Icy Ice. Driving Fast. Then after that, you kinda just aimlessly wipe your hands around circles in tune with the beat. It's a rip off of DDR, again. Hey, spoilers, everybody! This game f***ing sucks! Who would have guessed it? Darts. Not again! Stop! Nobody wants to play games like this! Next, you're gonna tell me there's, like, lawn darts or something that plays the exact same way! F*** you! Lawn darts! Oh, joy! I love lawn darts! Don't you? Bag toss. Hey guys, remember that game when you were a kid where you tossed bags into a hole? Good, cause neither do I. Oh boy, it's the Wireless Air 60. Are you ever playing a video game system that you don't like cause it costs too much money? Well, why don't you get a Wireless Air 60? Guess what? It does everything you need, like play games. Do you not like buttons? Well, good, cause this one don't have any. <laughs> get one now, it's good for kids. Caution, the Wireless Air 60 has been known to cause brain damage due to the painful nature of the gameplay presented in the product. Kids might beat their damn head off the wall to prevent themselves from further gameplay, hence the brain damage. Sold all fine video game stores that hate your guts and maybe online even. So, we've tried out all the skill games and all the sports games, so all that's left is arcade and action. Well, let's go with action first. Sonic Fighter. Alright, so it's a shoot 'em up, and you kind of move your character back and forth like this by touching these little buttons down here. 
This is a problem though, because every single shoot 'em up game I've ever played requires you to be using a controller, or at least a pretty decent touchscreen. But with this, if you move your body in the way of any of these buttons, you accidentally engage them. Like right there, somehow I engaged the power missile option, which I didn't mean to do, but it operates that way anyway. I'm pretty sure they stole these models from some other game. Mighty Rescuer. All you do is you bounce these items along the way into the truck over there. And that's it. Every item does the exact same thing. It's not randomized. So all you need to do is remember that whenever you see a monkey, it kind of does a different movement than the chunks of meat and stuff. I have no idea why you're moving things into that truck, but you are. And the funny thing is, because there's no real hit detection or way for the game to know that you're cheating, you can just do this, and you can keep on winning no matter what. So if you keep this movement going on, you'll never lose. Speed Rider! Okay, this is some kind of weird collect-a-thon game, and honestly, because of these graphics, you're gonna get a seizure. So really, the best way to play this is not to play it at all. These little handles here you can wave your hand in front of to move your character left and right, but honestly, I've actually gotten this game to beat itself by just walking away from the screen. So if this game turns on while you're playing it, well, now's a good time for a coffee break. See? I won. Break the ice. I don't even know why they just repeat the same mechanics again and again, but they do! They find a way to do it! And here it is again. This is just another kung fu clone of a game they already copied previously, and it's it's just it's exactly what it looks like. And 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 look look at the exquisite boredom on my face. That is what Break the Ice is. A boring, repetitive, annoying game. B -b 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 freestyle. Now, I actually know how to swim in real life. You do these big movements like this to actually, you know, swim. But in this game, what you're supposed to do is doggy paddle. And that's how you win. You just keep doggy paddling. Keep away. So in this game, you're supposed to keep the ball away from the kids. That's it. You just hit the ball so that they can't grab it. That's all that happens. But because the game has a bad camera, all you really have to do is this. And you can never lose. Cool cycling. So, here's a biking game, and this is how you play it. You take your hands onto both of these little icons here and flap them back and forth as quick as you can. If you flap one faster than the other, you move in that direction. So I recommend that you don't even care about the objects on the screen, and you just keep flapping your hands back and forth. This is really weird though, because if you've ever ridden a bike in the real world, you're most likely using the pedals with your feet, not with your f***ing hands. Super Motocross. Oh, for God's sakes. This is exactly like the biking game, only now you're riding a motorcycle, and you have to keep doing this to keep your motorcycle going. Do you know of a motorcycle where you have to flap the handlebars back and forth so that you can keep accelerating? I kinda don't know one like that, but hey, whatever. Another game that's just copying another game they have in this series, but they just changed out the graphics. Good. Jet Ski Adventure. No, f off. You can't do that. You can't take the exact same game and just switch out the graphics. Look, the character model is still the same guy. He just happens to be on a jet ski now. This is a rip off. Ah. Oh. Surf's up! I have no idea what you're supposed to do in this game. You kind of flap your hands up like that and your character just floats in the air. I think you're supposed to avoid the waves, but I'm not even sure that's what it is. This game just keeps going on for a really long time with no obstacles in the way besides this little wave going on. This game's completely f***ing terrible and weird. Crash Zone. So here's what you do in this game. You move your hands over objects to make them drive faster. The point is you have to move cars in a specific way so that they avoid getting the accidents. The problem is you can't slow down cars. They only go fast. 
but the guys that were designing this game were so lazy that they actually forgot to turn certain cars around. So some cars go forward, some cars go backwards, and that's it. Oh, good. The game crashed. I know you can still hear me, but this is what a game crash on this game looks like. Fuck. Shuffleboard. Oh, hey, look everybody, it's shuffleboard. You know, like curling for older people. Oh, and look, those wonderful circles and fucking gauges are back again. Hey, pro tip, you game developers out there. If you make 70,000 versions of the exact same game using the exact same mechanics, it doesn't change shit. This is just darts, this is just bowling, this is just everything. This circle and gauge mechanic is a lazy way to make motion sensing games because you didn't know how to do motion sensing. This is super fucking lazy. So you know what? I'm not even gonna touch this game because I know it blows. So why don't you fuck off? Ancient secret. What are you doing? Just hitting spears out of the air? This is stupid. This is just stupid. Juggling. Okay, you insane fucking lunatics. There's no way you can call this juggling. Look at it. There is a net. I'm hitting soccer balls into the net. Does this look like juggling? <laughs> Maybe I'm just overreacting, right? Well, you know what? The original Wireless 60 had a couple of extra problems I didn't really address in the video. See, the original Wireless 60 has this weird bug. When you try to capture it with a capture card or something like that, well, it changes frame rates and resolutions freaking all the time. So when it happens, the entire card just crashes. Now, the original Wireless 60 I played about four times, all the games for hours and hours and hours. In this one, <laughs> This one did the same thing, only it was longer. Do <laughs> you know how many days I've been playing this system? Do you? <laughs> okay, let's say you wanna get to that back icon up there. Do you see that? You gotta get your hand through action, arcade, and kinda get it through there. And just not engage action and do this. Oh, almost got arcade. Huh? Huh? It's gay. We, we. Okay, so we're done sports, we're done skill, and now we're done action. All that's left is arcade. Now I left arcade for the very end because, see traditionally arcade games require some use of a controller, some hard input device. And while sports games, skill games, and action games can be done with movements, Arcade games traditionally are not. So, this I saved for last, because I think this one is going to give me an aneurysm. But let's try it out anyway. Still going. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Select. There we go. Don't break the eggs or you'll hurt the babies. All you need to do is move your hand in front of these bird's nests to capture eggs. If you drop three eggs, it's game over. And as you can tell, the hit detection doesn't work that well because, well, it's the motion of this system just not working properly. But you know what? If you really wanted to win this game and never lose, all you need to do is just do this. If you do this, you're moving pixels in front of the camera so it just can't lose. No matter what, you're always gonna be moving something in the area where these bird's nests appear and you'll always catch an egg. I feel really stupid right now. Drift. Remember the biking game we played? Remember all those other games we played? They did it again! Only this time you're paddling. Good! Good, this is what I want. This is why I bought this system. So I can fake paddle with my hands. Oh boy, I'm having a whole hell of a lot of fun playing this system. They seriously need to stop. Galaxy ping pong. Oh, this is bullshit. A breakout clone? You guys put a breakout clone in this system? The one thing you need to make breakout good is a dial or at least a D-pad. And what did you do? You got rid of that for motion controls. You made a motion control 
video feed f***ing breakout game. How the f*** could you do that? That's insane. No one would do that. But you did. You stupid, stupid mother f***. Glass water. Ah! Momash. The hit detection on this game is just god awful. It doesn't really work all the time. Even when you're just hitting them when you're supposed to be hitting them. This is basically just whack-a-mole. But they changed the name to Mole Mash because I guess they were fans of stupid sh it. Fuck it. Starforce. So this game's very much like the Fly Swat game. All you're doing is waving your hand in front of things and destroying them. This game's really irritating though because the hit detection sometimes doesn't work that well for this device. And because it doesn't work well, it can't register when you're actually moving stuff. You know that little trick where you just stay in front of the screen really close and move around? Well that doesn't work in this game because the hit detection is so <laughs> that you may not actually hit everybody. Like... Of... Good. Good! But I lost! What is... What's this? Obstacle race. So in this game, you're Bugs Bunny in a pink jogging suit, and you're just rubbing your hands on these dials as quick as you can to get Bugs Bunny to run fast. And then whenever you jump, you swing both hands in front of those two weird things there. But the hit detection's bad, like every other game, so guess what? It's just not gonna work. Plus, I've never ever wanted to play a running game where I used my hands to run. This is seriously annoying, and I'm getting real sick of them reusing these stupid mechanics. You know, in the bike game it was difficult, but in this one, they made it more difficult by including four f***ing buttons. Guys, I'm a human being with two arms, and like, no way have the ability to touch all these buttons at the same time. Holy f***, he looks scary. Oh god, put it down. Jogging. So this game repeats the biking game mechanics. It just repeats it over and over and over again. But in this game, something different happens. Your character runs out of steam, and he's got to quickly breathe to regain his health, I guess. And then, once he's done, you keep running. But you quickly lose health. The trick to this game is you got to move your character over to a certain area to pick up something like pop or maybe some apples, like right there. <sighs> but it's so hard because there's just no way to really control the character when you have to keep moving your hands back and forth like a f***ing moron. Come on, move, move, move! Falling fruit. So here's a game where you catch falling fruit. Now look guys, this game may have been okay if you're using some kind of controller, but because you're using these on-screen motion controls, well, it's just not good. And something weird that happens in this game is once in a while the fruit comes down and it's explosive, like it's a bomb and it actually hurts your character. I have no idea why that happens, and the fruit that does that looked as normal as any other fruit. They just randomly happen once in a while. Like right in there. This game's stupid! Pinball Adventure! I'm a really big fan of pinball, like really big fan. But I don't think anyone in the history of the planet ever asked for a pinball game that used motion controls. Ah! <laughs> so in this game, a monkey holds up a fruit, and when he's holding up a fruit, you have to select which basket it goes in. Bananas, grapes, apples, or pineapples. And that's all you really have to do. It's kind of simple, and there's really not much to it. I mean, I understand how to play it, and I'm an idiot. So if you want to play a fruit sorting game, this is the game for you. And it really doesn't have any issues other than the fact that it just takes a while to engage the fruits and stuff. But hey, you know, as long as you can play, that didn't work properly. As long as you can figure out where fruits go, you're kind of okay. Where the f*** does the twig go? UFO Defiance. It's another one of those games where you're just hitting things. Hit detection sucks, like everything else, but whatever. It's just you hitting UFOs. Crocs on parade. Here's a game where you beat crocodiles before they eat a bunch of meat. That's the game. That's all it is. And it sucks! Ocean Depths. So this is it, the last game. 
But I don't know what it's about. There's like some fish in the corner, a score, and like I guess a health bar at the bottom, but it doesn't make any sense. I... Uh, there wasn't any rules when the game started, it didn't tell you what to do. So you kind of just wave your hand in front of the fish and they either fly faster away or they just go in wrong directions or something. I can't do it anymore! I just can't. I can't! Why would you make this game? What was the purpose? They must have known this was going to be the last game I was going to play. They had to have known. How else would they make a game that had seemingly no purpose? This is it, huh? This is the test, isn't it, Wireless Air 60? This is the one you want me to lose my shit on. Well, fucking congratulations, because it fucking worked! I think that's it. I don't think we ever have to make another one of these. Because there can't be another sequel to this system, right guys? They just can't do that. They can't make a wireless Air 62. That would be impossible. So, I'm glad we're done. But remember, this thing must be destroyed. It's up to us to kill it. So if you ever see one, if you ever find one, break it, bury it, set it on fire. But don't worry, I know exactly what to do with the one that I own. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to share this video with all your friends. Because if this video does well enough, hell, I'll find another video game system to beat with the hammer. Ha <laughs> ha. There will be blood.